Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this series of videos. It's going to be all days that I tested for the ovulation tests. I'm going to give you details in the beginning of what product I use and everything. And then in the very end of the video, you're going to see a chart that has basically the date, the result of the test, and uh, you see all the details at the very end. If you have any questions, if you have any comment, uh, please comment down below. Like, subscribe the video, and thank you so much for watching. is the best time to have intercourse. I should be starting in day seven of my cycle, but because my uh, menstrual period is really, really, like I'm just spotting since one, two days ago, it was just very low flow. And because of that, I decided that I would actually start the site of doing the ovulation day, uh, test on my day five. Day five is the day uh, that you count since day one of your menstrual period. So you start counting the, the first day uh, that you have menstrual period until the day five. And that's the day I'm starting my, um, my ovulation test. On Saturday, August 7, I had the first day of my period. So if you count day seven, it should be the day one because it's the first day of my period and it's count one, two, three, four, five. And so the 5 would be August 11, which is today, a Wednesday. I want to follow the process of ovulation in my cycle, so I want to see the evolution of my tests from today. But we'll see until what cycle day I will go. So I have P. I'll spare you from, from seeing my P. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven Mississippi, twelve Mississippi, thirteen Mississippi, fourteen Mississippi, fifteen. And now we're gonna wait five minutes. So I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, okay, so I got the results. It is a negative. I'll just show you. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, so I'm starting my cycle 6 for my ovulation test. Okay, so I looked at the menu, at the ovulation test menu, and it says that it's high fertility when it's blinking like that. It's not the peak. The highest is when it's in the peak, and that's when you should stop testing. So I can continue testing tomorrow and see how long I can stay at the high fertility uh, result. But I'm actually very surprised that my results were high fertility already because 
Uh, I already had uh, yesterday still had some uh, some period. Um, even though I explained to you guys yesterday, there was a very very little amount in the last two days or three. And uh, but uh, I'm surprised because usually after one day or two of the period, it's too safe to like be low fertility. But in my case, I guess um, it's not the case. So we'll see tomorrow uh, what is my result and so we'll continue testing tomorrow. Good morning guys, so today is the cycle day 7 and I'm going to do another ovulation test. explained in another, another vlog but we're trying to do ovulation test just because we want to try for a girl and if you try too, uh, too close to the ovulation it can be a boy like if it's the day of the day of the ovulation or the day before the ovulation you will get a boy and I've heard that's a method and then uh, if you do more days like three four five days before the ovulation then, then it could be a girl so that's the reason I'm doing the ovulation test to like make sure that I'm not, um, I'm, I'm gonna try not to have uh, intercourse the day of the ovulation the, the, or the day before of the ovulation. So let's see the results. Okay, so this is uh, four, 4 minutes and 30 seconds, so it's gonna show the, the result anytime. Let's see if it's already showing. Okay, so this result means that it's high fertility, it is blinking, like flashing the smiley face, so it, I'm not in the peak of fertility. Peak of fertility is for when you are in the, inside the window of 48 hours within the ovulation. So, um, uh, okay, so I, that's good. Uh, I, I will stop uh, testing once I have the peak of ovulation, but let's see how many days I'll have the high fertility sign. So I, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi, good morning. I'm gonna try my ovulation test today again. See you in five minutes. Ten more seconds. Okay. So this is the result. Uh, I've heard that it can happen for several days in a row before it comes the result of before you get the peak result. So that's high fertility and it's splashing. See you tomorrow. Good morning guys. Let's do the ovulation test this morning and see the results. result is high fertility and flashing. Alright, see you guys tomorrow.
okay, so there is okay and high fertility again. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I can't see you naked. Say bye bye. Bye bye, naked. <laughs>